Hello everyone, how's it going? Adam here, and today we are having another discussion video. Uh, this one is going to be over uh, kind of the last season of the Overwatch League. And um, in case you guys don't know, the new Overwatch season uh, 2020 is going to be coming pretty soon. I think like sometime in early February. I haven't looked up the date uh, yet. But um, I'm going to be honest, I'm, big, I'm a big fan of the Overwatch League. I pretty much watched almost every single game the first season. I... I fell in love with it. It was amazing. I spent too much time on it. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. And I didn't watch the second season so much. And I kind of wanted to talk about what was different about that season that made me kind of ignore it. Uh, and, yeah, just kind of see if it's going to be apparent in this season. I hope it's not. But there's a lot of new changes. There's been a lot of new changes every single year. And, um... So let's just start off from the beginning. Uh, season 2 first came out. I was excited. I really wanted to watch it. And, uh, yeah. You know, it was... I, I think I watched the first week before it, um, before it kind of died on me. Uh, because of a certain meta. Now, if you guys know, what was it, early 2019? Which felt, honestly, like yesterday, but in reality it was a long time ago. Um... Uh, it was the GOATS meta. In case you don't remember GOATS, it was three tanks and three supports. And, um, I hated it. <laughs> it was so boring to watch that I killed Overwatch League for me, at least for a while. Um, and, yeah, I, it was a terrible meta. It was, like, so boring. It made me feel like, it made me feel like I was just watching the same comps go up against each other over and over again like overwatch league season one had so much diverse not really diverse i guess just a lot of plays from dps that made it really enjoyable to watch like if you guys remember um oh what's his name pine on the uh, on widowmaker <laughs> that was that was honestly amazing i loved it so much and uh yeah, I didn't get a lot of DPS, you know, a lot of the old DPS people like Sabi, Obi, um, AKM on the Dallas Fuel. Uh, I can name a bunch of people, but honestly, I kind of forgot them all. Um, but yeah, you know, just it was just kind of boring. And uh, also, another thing wrong with the Overwatch League, <laughs> or at least at that time. Uh, was, I don't know if this is true, but didn't it feel like there was no desk? Like, you know, like if you watch the Overwatch League, at least back in Season 1, uh, they had, like, desk se segments where they kind of talk about the game before and after. Or no, before, after, and during because of the halftime. They talked about it, and they talked about the players, the games, kind of predictions... Uh, those were really fun to watch because honestly kind of got you into it because I usually made a lot of predictions I usually got a lot of them wrong especially season one when uh, <laughs> uh, I was rooting for the Dallas fuel that didn't really turn out right did it um, but yeah um, <laughs> it was, I don't know I just felt like they didn't show much of the desk but uh, actually um, I, I so I took a few break or took a stage off of the Overwatch League in Season 2. I tried to get back into it because the desk wasn't there and I think Goach was still in the meta. Uh, so that was, you know, bad as usual. <laughs> um, and I just felt like there was just no desk at all. Um, I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with it. And so I gave it, a, I gave it another break. <laughs> I came back at the end of Season 4 and I was like, I missed so much. I missed so much of the Overwatch League. And, um, I tried to watch as much as I could before it kind of, um, uh, before it was, before the off season, which is w what we're in now. And, um, I don't know. I really enjoyed it because they got rid of the GOATS meta. meta. Uh, they made it actually fun to watch again. Um... Yeah, I don't really know what else to say about that. It's just, I already I already talked a lot about goats. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, there's so many new changes coming into Season 3 that I really hope turn out well. Um, it, but it, it, when it comes to changes, I don't like them. Because <laughs> I think actually a couple announcers aren't going to be returning this Season 2. Um, I don't know who exactly. I think one's Mitch. I could be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, I don't like the changes they made in Season 2. And I hope in Season 3, um, they kind of they kind of realize it, stick to their roots a little bit. Because um, one of the major changes in Season 3 is going to be... Um, the, the Overwatch League isn't going to be in the same place anymore. In case, you don't, in case you didn't watch it, they had this big little tribute to the Blizzard Arena, which is where they had uh, Overwatch League... Season 1 and Season 2. I don't even... Do they count it like Season 1 and Season 2? I think it's like the 2020 season. 2019 season. 2018 season. You know? I don't know if they do it like that. I forgot what they call it. But I'm just going to call them Season 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, that's one of the major changes. They made like this big tribute to the Overwatch League arena. Blizzard arena. Um, and now they're trying to do it like parts of the... M Eh, I'm trying to think about how to say it. It's like kind of like sporting uh, arenas where, like, you know, the Kansas City Chiefs are in Kansas City, you know, and stuff like that. Like the Dallas, Texas, uh, Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Um, I'm trying to think of their names. Fuel. Jeez. I am not remembering things today. Uh, the Dallas Fuel are going to be in Dallas. I think they actually did some sort of arena. Uh, thing where they like had a week and they were at the Dallas arena um, I didn't see that so I don't know how that went but I hear I heard it was pretty popular and I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons why they're um, doing it for season three but don't you think that's gonna have some problems <laughs> and what I mean by problems I mean like teams that are from all around the world like you have London you have um, wait, London, you have Seoul, you have, um, obviously America, you have Dallas Fuel, uh, and Philadelphia, just, uh, teams around the world, Hong, what's it, Hong Kong, no, wait, Shanghai, that's what I'm thinking of, <laughs> uh, yeah, Shanghai, you have a lot of people, and honestly, I don't know how, how, how it's all gonna work, but I really hope this doesn't make me, would not want to watch the Overwatch League. And, um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Changes like these are pretty big. And I know, like, the small changes in Season 2 kind of put me off of it. So I just kind of wanted to express, like, how I'm kind of worried. But I'm also happy, too. Because the Overwatch League is now kind of being considered a big esports thing. And it's only been going on for, what, three years? I don't know, that's... That's crazy to think about. Um, I don't know if it's probably not the most watched esports uh, um, game, I guess. Um, but it definitely, I think it's one of the top five. I think it has to be. <laughs> I know Dota 2 and League of Legends are probably ones that are pretty high as well. But I don't, I sadly I don't watch them. I think CSGO probably too. It's up there. Um, so yeah, I kind of just wanted to express why I didn't want to, why I didn't watch the Overwatch League season two. I hope they, I hope they do something different. Well, not really do something different, but I hope they, um, they really know what these changes are. And I, I mean, obviously the Blizzard Arena wasn't the best place to have the Overwatch League forever. <clears throat> Excuse me, um, because it was honestly really small, and there are a ton of Overwatch League fans. Um, we're talking like millions. I hope. <laughs> I think. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I mean, just fans worldwide, honestly. No, I don't even know. I don't know how many people. I'm trying to think about the actual number. I think I looked it up once, but I don't remember. It probably, I probably didn't. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got tons of uh, fans, and like, I think the Blizzard Arena couldn't even hold like... I don't even know how many uh, Blizzard Arena capacity. Let me try to look that up. Arena capacity. 
Let's just do a little quick check. Yeah, 450. Now, I was, I was about to say, like, I don't even know if it can even hold a thousand. 450. Like, <laughs> it wasn't that big, you know? And now they, they actually have, like, normal arenas for these people now. Or, not for the teams, not the people. And, uh, yeah, and for the people, actually. People spectating. Um, I don't know how much the ticket prices were. I'm not gonna look that up. That's just too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was in L.A., so... Um, it was pretty LA based. Um, also time zones are going to be pretty interesting there too. I actually just realized because like you're going to have different time zones from like people in uh, Seoul than you know LA. You know I wonder how that's all that's going to work. And I wonder what announcers are going to be going there too. And and the desk. Oh the desk. <laughs> oh the thing that put me off of it. No, nah, it's probably mo mostly goats meta that put me off of season two. Yeah. I don't know, but I'm really I'm looking forward to this season. I'm gonna give it another shot because I really loved um, 2018 season. Um, and yeah, and also there's a lot more teams now, so I can't really watch everything anymore. Um, <laughs> How many teams did they add in season two? Eight? Yeah, because there's 12, 12, 12, 12 teams in the original season. And then they added eight. So that made it 20. Yeah, I can't watch all those games anymore. And honestly, I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Even if it was like season one, I probably couldn't. Like, you know, I'm in college now. Me even making videos takes a while. So. Or just, yeah, I put it on hold. Let them know. Shit ain't easy. But, um, yeah, regardless, uh, those are my concerns and why I didn't watch Overwatch uh, Season 2. Um, and I think I think Season 3 is going to be better. I'm looking forward to it. I know I said that already, but I do have some concerns. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my TED Talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not a... I don't really like to make these videos formal. I kind of I kind of make it have like a formal title, but I I just don't really like having a script for this. I kind of like just speaking from my head, um, and sometimes it really doesn't work out. <laughs> um, but videos are probably gonna be like this when I'm in college. I mean, you'll probably see some gameplay videos every now and again, but um, it's just uh, it's just gonna be one of those things that I'm gonna have to adapt to. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it. By the way, we win this game. Uh, if you guys are wondering. Did we get it? Team 1 wins? Yep, we did it, boys. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, that was the game. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more. We're almost at 300 subscribers, which is honestly amazing since I don't post that often anymore. Um, I'm going to try to fix it. And I thought this semester would be a uh, be the semester to fix it, but uh, sadly, I, that's not how it works. Um, at least when it comes to college, at least for me. But I'll try. I'll try my best. Um, yeah, I already said it. Goodbye, everyone. Peace.